Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day two of my haul week. Um, today's video is an H&M haul and I last filmed an H&M haul coming up for two months ago now I'd say um, and I was so pleasantly surprised with almost all of the items in that video. The quality, the fit, there were just so many beautiful pieces. So when I decided to do a haul week, H&M was top of the list. As I mentioned before, I am doing a haul week this week in preparation for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So there will be a new haul every day, um, including Topshop, Zara, Mango, ASOS. Um, yeah, there'll be a new haul every day. So if you aren't already subscribed and you would like to see that, then do make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, and I will just be picking out some of my favourite items from each retailer, telling you any discount codes they're offering, um, any bargains to be had. And yeah, just some of my favourite pieces. So do make sure you subscribe if you would like to see that. Um, but yeah, let's get going with today's video. Okay, so first up we have some knitwear. And H&M knitwear is amazing at the moment. I got some beautiful pieces in my last H&M haul. And so when I was doing this one, I was really looking through the knitwear, trying to pick out some lovely pieces. And I spotted this beautiful dusky rose jumper. And I just loved the colour of it. Um, and actually I ordered this to wear as a jumper dress again because it looked quite long on the model, it looked quite oversized so I thought, yeah, I'm going to size up, I got it in a size, oh, I got it in a size small maybe I didn't size up that much <laughs> um, but I thought I could wear that kind of nice and loose off the shoulders and have it as a jumper dress, maybe with a belt on um, but yeah, the fabric feels lovely, it's not itchy, nice and soft not the best quality, it doesn't feel like really expensive like some of the other pieces I've had but I still think that's a lovely piece and I'm pretty sure that's really reasonable as well I think it was about 20 something pounds so that was the first piece Okay, so this is how it looks as a jumper dress I'm five foot six and it's a pretty good length on me it's a little bit shorter at the front and then plenty long enough at the back so it sort of just comes down to just above your knees at the back. Um, I've just popped on with some black chunky ankle boots but I also think it would look lovely worn with over the knee boots to give you that little bit more warmth and kind of just cover up a little bit more. And then obviously if you prefer you could wear it tucked into black skinny jeans or leather look trousers or obviously you could have it sort of untucked and wear it a little bit loose and baggy with skinny jeans as well. Okay so sticking with knitwear and the next item that I ordered is another chunky roll neck jumper but I have been wearing my grey one of these so much literally I just reach for it almost every day when I'm feeling chilly and I need to nip out it goes on it's amazing um so I spotted it in this colour I don't know if it's exactly the same I think it's slightly different knit but it looks pretty similar um and I spotted it in this gorgeous sort of beigey colour and thought yeah I think I need that in my life and I know that I will wear this a lot because of how often I wear the grey one. This one feels so lovely on, the fabric is really soft um, and in fact it's definitely not the same as my grey one, now I've got it on I can tell it doesn't really feel the same. This is slightly thinner and actually a bit softer as well um, but yeah feels lovely, love the colour of it, really sort of nice flattering warm creamy tones um, and I actually quite like it with white jeans as well. And then this is how it looks worn with a blazer and I really like the fact that it's chunky but not too chunky so that when you wear a blazer over the top you don't feel like there's too much padding going on underneath and sometimes they can feel a little bit restrictive can't they? Um, so this one has got the, the nice chunky neck but it's not too thick. Okay, the next thing I ordered is this little silky cami top in this really pale sort of dusky nude colour and I actually ordered this because I spotted it in a dress version and loved it, it is gorgeous um, but it was out of stock in almost every size I think it's kind of, it was like this but a longer version and beautiful, really gorgeous I will link it below because it might come back into stock sometimes you get lucky with H&M don't you um, but yeah, it was out of stock so I thought the next best thing was the top version ok so this is cute but it's a little bit too small for me um, I'm pretty sure I went for the extra small I will leave it in the description box but I'm pretty sure I went for the extra small and it's a little bit too tight around the back which means that this feels like it's not really sitting how it should be I mean if there was, a, if there was like an extra inch of material then it would kind of be slightly more gaped here you know like a little bit of ruching like I feel 
like silky camis like this are supposed to sit just a bit just a bit more gapy um so yeah i do think it's really cute but i might swap it for a bigger size or i might just hold out and pray that the dress comes back into stock and then jump on that when it does <laughs> Okay, the next thing I ordered is this oversized grey long cardigan and if you saw my Zara haul on Sunday you will know that I ordered something quite similar to this but it was a cable knit version and it was so so itchy so I thought I'd try this one out from H&M but unfortunately I feel like history is repeating itself because this is a bit itchy as well. It's not as bad as the Zara one, I will say that. It's not, it's kind of soft, but with a little bit of a, little bit of a scratch to it. <laughs> um, but I have just looked on the label and it is a mohair and wool blend. So that is probably why, because I feel like mohair is usually the itchy one, isn't it? Um, so I haven't tried this on yet, so I will slip it on and see how it feels on. This actually feels a lot nicer now I've got it on. I'm kind of getting used to that sort of mohair feel that I was a little bit, Put off by to start with. Um, now I've got it on, it's actually quite soft and warm and cosy. Um, and I like the fact that it's nice and baggy, nice and oversized. It makes it feel makes it feel a little bit more snuggly and yeah, I like it. It's a nice cardigan. I just realised I forgot to show you this skirt when I was going through everything. Um, so I thought I'd just pop it on quickly and show you. Um, but yeah, also ordered this little leather look mini skirt. Um, and I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with the quality of it. It feels really lovely faux leather. In fact, I feel like it almost looks like it could be leather. It's not too shiny. It's not too cheap, plasticky looking. It's got that sort of like mottledy kind of effect to it. So it looks really good quality. It's meant to look like a sort of crossover wrap style skirt that does up at the side here but actually it has got a zip at the back so you don't really need to faff around with the buckle you can just unzip it and pull it up like I just did it's a little bit short maybe but I think I can just about get away with it okay next up is another piece of knitwear and I just loved the block colors of this jumper I just thought it looked really cool and would look lovely styled with some leather look leggings some lace up sort of chunky ankle boots and maybe a black blazer and yeah I just just liked it um, and this is a blend of mohair and wool as well so it's the same as the grey cardigan but this doesn't feel itchy at all it actually feels really soft so yeah I like that I'm loving the way this jumper looks on I feel like it looks really expensive and it feels really good quality as well love the block colors I think it works really well with skinny jeans and ankle boots like I said before um, yeah just a really great jumper really like it and if I just pop a blazer over the top so you can kind of see how it would look if I layered it up so yeah it works really well with the blazer over the top it's nice and warm nice and cozy and just a really great winter jumper okay next up we have some more knitwear um and this was a little bit of a risky order because I will be honest it isn't the best quality um and I ordered this one because it was 8 99 so I thought let's give that a go let's try it out for quality um and I'm not really that impressed it feels pretty cheap it's quite thin it's just a little bit shapeless I will try it on so you can see how it looks on and I think it does look a little bit better on I did slip it on when it first arrived um, and I just I do think it works a little bit better on it's it's quite a cute little jumper um but yeah just not the best quality this one I do actually think it does look better on than it did off um, it's a little bit of a funny shape. I've kind of pulled it off one shoulder because it looks slightly better like that than it does when it's worn straight up. Um, yeah, I mean, it's quite cute. It was 8 99 so really it's not, you know, you don't expect much for 8 99 do you? Um, but I don't think I'd be keeping this one because for me, I just don't think I'd reach for it that often when I've got some other nicer pieces of knitwear. Um, but yeah, it's, it's okay. I know it's a little bit early, but the next thing I ordered is a Christmas style jumper. Not actually a Christmas jumper, but it's very festive. I don't know if you can tell from where I'm holding it, but obviously it's red, which kind of makes it festive already. And then it's got these little hearts, like little pom-pom hearts all over it. Can you see that if I hold it like that? Um, and I don't know, I just felt like it was really Christmassy. It's more, I don't know, it's quite a festive jumper, isn't it? But it's also great in the fact that you could probably wear it no, I was going to say all year round, but you wouldn't be wearing this in the summer, would you? But you know, it's not 
it's not too festive. And I think this was in the sale as well. I'm pretty sure this was under £20. Okay, as far as Christmassy festive jumpers go, I actually think this one is really cute. Um, don't get me wrong, I don't think it's supposed to be a Christmas jumper because I'm pretty sure it comes in grey and cream as well, um, which obviously wouldn't be Christmassy at all, would they? I love the little hearts on it. They just look really cute. And the fabric's nice and soft. It's not itchy. It's a nice shape, a little bit oversized, um, and I probably would wear it tucked in. Yeah, that's probably how I'd wear it, just tucked in at the front like that. Um, but yeah, I think it's cute. And if you are doing like a Christmas jumper day at work and you don't really want to go full force with a big reindeer on your front, um, then I think this is quite a cute little alternative. Okay, the next thing I ordered are some pyjamas and actually I ordered these for, you know when it's winter and you're fake tanning and you do not want your white sheets to go yellow. I feel like these were the perfect fake tan pyjamas um, because they're black, they're silky, they won't stick to you too much. Um, so if I show you the legs first, the legs, <laughs> if I show you the bottoms first, they're just a plain black silky wide leg with a little bit of lace at the bottom just to make them a little bit pretty and then the top is just a simple button up top again plain black silk and then I think there's just yeah just a little bit of lace on the shoulders okay so I wasn't going to but I thought I'd quickly show you how the pajamas look on um, and I love them they feel so lovely they're really silky and soft and comfortable um, the top is the perfect shape it's a little bit little bit loose but not too oversized I love the little bit of lace detailing on the shoulder as well just looks really pretty and then lengthwise the trousers are the perfect length for me I'm five foot six and they just sort of skim the floor nicely and they also have elasticated waistband as well so very comfortable yeah just a lovely pair of pajamas and they'd make a really good Christmas present as well okay next up is another piece of knitwear and this time it's just a really simple grey cable knit jumper um, but this one's not oversized it looks quite fitted um, lovely and soft really nice fabric and just a really nice really nice grey Okay, so this one is just a really lovely, simple roll neck. Um, the shape of it's really nice, the fit of it's nice, nice and fitted, not too tight, but not too loose either. Um, I love the cable knit running through it as well. I think that looks really nice. And I just think it's a really nice feel as well. Not itchy, nice and soft, just a great little roll neck jumper. Okay, next up is a bit of a special one, um, and it's got some serious weight to it, this one as well. But it's this beautiful, dusky sort of nude leather aviator jacket. Um, sorry, it's not very easy to see what it looks like when I hold it like this. But trust me, it is gorgeous. The quality is amazing. The leather feels lovely. In fact, I'd go as far as to say I don't really think it looks like it's from H&M. Um, don't get me wrong, it wasn't the cheapest, this one. But if H&M are doing some discount codes, then it's a good time to get a little bit of discount off this one. So I will pop... Any discount they are doing in the description box, of course. Okay, so this is how the beautiful leather jacket looks on. And the quality just feels amazing. It's so warm and heavy and just feels really snuggly. Um, the only thing I would say is that the arms are slightly stiff, kind of just here. They've been a little bit, a little bit restricted, but I think that's just where it is leather and it just needs to soften up a little bit here. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it is a really beautiful leather jacket um, and I will just quickly zip it up so you can see how it looks zipped up but I'm pretty sure I would usually I'd usually wear it undone I think um, so yeah that's kind of how it works done up but I do think it looks better undone um, and I also think it would probably work a little bit better with an all black outfit as well or sort of blue jeans rather than this all nudie white ensemble that I've got going on here. <laughs> okay, so that's everything for my H&M haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. As usual, all of the items will be linked below in the description box and I will make sure I put them in order of how I tried them on and put my size next to each item so you know what size I ordered for comparison. Um, if you did enjoy the video, I would love it if you'd give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment and let me know your favourite item. Um, but yeah, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in tomorrow's video. Goodbye.